The Russian military has begun a brutal assault on the people of Ukraine. The Russian military has begun a brutal assault on the people of Ukraine. The Russian military has begun a brutal assault on the people of Ukraine. The Russian military has begun a brutal assault on the people of Ukraine. The Russian military has begun a brutal assault on the people of Ukraine. Without provocation, without justification, without necessity, this is a premeditated attack. Without provocation, without justification, without necessity, this is a premeditated attack. Without provocation, without justification, without necessity, this is a premeditated attack. Without provocation, without justification, without necessity, this is a premeditated attack. Without provocation, without justification, without necessity, this is a premeditated attack. Vladimir Putin has been planning this for months, as I've been, we've been saying all along. Vladimir Putin has been planning this for months, as I've been, we've been saying all along. Vladimir Putin has been planning this for months, as I've been, we've been saying all along. Vladimir Putin has been planning this for months, as I've been, we've been saying all along. Vladimir Putin has been planning this for months, as I've been, we've been saying all along. He moved more than 175,000 troops, military equipment, and positions along the Ukrainian border. He moved more than 175,000 troops, military equipment, and positions along the Ukrainian border. He moved more than 175,000 troops, military equipment, and positions along the Ukrainian border. He moved more than 175,000 troops, military equipment, and positions along the Ukrainian border. He moved more than 175,000 troops, military equipment, and positions along the Ukrainian border. Putin is the aggressor. Putin chose this war. And now he and his country will bear the consequences. Putin is the aggressor. Putin chose this war. And now he and his country will bear the consequences. Putin is the aggressor. Putin chose this war. And now he and his country will bear the consequences. Putin is the aggressor. Putin chose this war. And now he and his country will bear the consequences. Putin is the aggressor. Putin chose this war. And now he and his country will bear the consequences. Today, I'm authorizing additional strong sanctions and new limitations on what can be exported to Russia. Today, I'm authorizing additional strong sanctions and new limitations on what can be exported to Russia. Today, I'm authorizing additional strong sanctions and new limitations on what can be exported to Russia. Today, I'm authorizing additional strong sanctions and new limitations on what can be exported to Russia. Today, I'm authorizing additional strong sanctions and new limitations on what can be exported to Russia. This is going to impose severe cost on the Russian economy, both immediately and over time. This is going to impose severe cost on the Russian economy, both immediately and over time. This is going to impose severe cost on the Russian economy, both immediately and over time. This is going to impose severe cost on the Russian economy, both immediately and over time. This is going to impose severe cost on the Russian economy, both immediately and over time. We have purposely designed these sanctions to maximize the long-term impact on Russia and to minimize the impact on the United States and our allies. We have purposely designed these sanctions to maximize the long-term impact on Russia and to minimize the impact on the United States and our allies. We have purposely designed these sanctions to maximize the long-term impact on Russia and to minimize the impact on the United States and our allies. We have purposely designed these sanctions to maximize the long-term impact on Russia and to minimize the impact on the United States and our allies. We have purposely designed these sanctions to maximize the long-term impact on Russia 
and to minimize the impact on the United States and our allies. Our forces are not and will not be engaged in the conflict with Russia in Ukraine. Our forces are not and will not be engaged in the conflict with Russia in Ukraine. Our forces are not and will not be engaged in the conflict with Russia in Ukraine. Our forces are not and will not be engaged in the conflict with Russia in Ukraine. Our forces are not and will not be engaged in the conflict with Russia in Ukraine. Our forces are not going to Europe to fight in Ukraine, but to defend our NATO allies and reassure those allies in the East. Our forces are not going to Europe to fight in Ukraine, but to defend our NATO allies and reassure those allies in the East. Our forces are not going to Europe to fight in Ukraine, but to defend our NATO allies and reassure those allies in the East. Our forces are not going to Europe to fight in Ukraine, but to defend our NATO allies and reassure those allies in the East. Our forces are not going to Europe to fight in Ukraine, but to defend our NATO allies and reassure those allies in the East. As I made crystal clear, the United States will defend every inch of NATO territory with the full force of American power. As I made crystal clear, the United States will defend every inch of NATO territory with the full force of American power. As I made crystal clear, the United States will defend every inch of NATO territory with the full force of American power. As I made crystal clear, the United States will defend every inch of NATO territory with the full force of American power. As I made crystal clear, the United States will defend every inch of NATO territory with the full force of American power. And the good news is, NATO is more united and more determined than ever. And the good news is, NATO is more united and more determined than ever. And the good news is, NATO is more united and more determined than ever. And the good news is, NATO is more united and more determined than ever. And the good news is, NATO is more united and more determined than ever. There is no doubt, no doubt that the United States and every NATO ally will meet our Article 5 commitments, which says that an attack on one is an attack on all. There is no doubt, no doubt that the United States and every NATO ally will meet our Article 5 commitments, which says that an attack on one is an attack on all. There is no doubt, no doubt that the United States and every NATO ally will meet our Article 5 commitments, which says that an attack on one is an attack on all. There is no doubt, no doubt that the United States and every NATO ally will meet our Article 5 commitments, which says that an attack on one is an attack on all. There is no doubt, no doubt that the United States and every NATO ally will meet our Article 5 commitments, which says that an attack on one is an attack on all. I spoke last night to President Zelensky of Ukraine, and I assured him that the United States, together with our allies and partners in Europe, will support the Ukrainian people as they defend their country. I spoke last night to President Zelensky of Ukraine, and I assured him that the United States, together with our allies and partners in Europe, will support the Ukrainian people as they defend their country. I spoke last night to President Zelensky of Ukraine, and I assured him that the United States, together with our allies and partners in Europe, will support the Ukrainian people as they defend their country. I spoke last night to President Zelensky of Ukraine, and I assured him that the United States, together with our allies and partners in Europe, will support the Ukrainian people as they defend their country. I spoke last night to President Zelensky of Ukraine, and I assured him that the United States, together with our allies and partners in Europe, will support the Ukrainian people as they defend their country. We'll provide you humanitarian relief to ease their suffering. We'll provide you humanitarian relief to ease their suffering. We'll provide you humanitarian relief to ease their suffering. We'll provide you humanitarian relief to ease their suffering. We'll provide you humanitarian relief to ease their suffering.
This is a dangerous moment for all of Europe, for the freedom around the world. This is a dangerous moment for all of Europe, for the freedom around the world. This is a dangerous moment for all of Europe, for the freedom around the world. This is a dangerous moment for all of Europe, for the freedom around the world. This is a dangerous moment for all of Europe, for the freedom around the world. Putin's action betrays sinister vision for the future of our world, one where nations take what they want by force. Putin's action betrays sinister vision for the future of our world, one where nations take what they want by force. Putin's action betrays sinister vision for the future of our world, one where nations take what they want by force. Putin's action betrays sinister vision for the future of our world. One more nations take what they want by force. Putin's action betrays sinister vision for the future of our world. One more nations take what they want by force. But it is a vision that the United States and freedom loving nations everywhere will oppose with every tool of our considerable power. But it is a vision that the United States and freedom loving nations everywhere will oppose with every tool of our considerable power. But it is a vision that the United States and freedom-loving nations everywhere will oppose with every tool of our considerable power. But it is a vision that the United States and freedom-loving nations everywhere will oppose with every tool of our considerable power. But it is a vision that the United States and freedom-loving nations everywhere will oppose with every tool of our considerable power. The United States and our allies and partners will emerge from this stronger, more united, more determined, and more purposeful. The United States and our allies and partners will emerge from this stronger, more united, more determined, and more purposeful. The United States and our allies and partners will emerge from this stronger, more united, more determined, and more purposeful. The United States and our allies and partners will emerge from this stronger, more united, more determined, and more purposeful. The United States and our allies and partners will emerge from this stronger, more united, more determined, and more purposeful. And Putin's aggression against Ukraine will end up costing Russia dearly, economically and strategically. We will make sure of that. And Putin's aggression against Ukraine will end up costing Russia dearly, economically and strategically. We will make sure of that. And Putin's aggression against Ukraine will end up costing Russia dearly, economically and strategically. We will make sure of that. And Putin's aggression against Ukraine will end up costing Russia dearly, economically and strategically. We will make sure of that. And Putin's aggression against Ukraine will end up costing Russia dearly, economically and strategically. We will make sure of that. When the history of this era is written, Putin's choice to make a totally unjustifiable war on Ukraine will have left Russia weaker and the rest of the world stronger. When the history of this era is written, Putin's choice to make a totally unjustifiable war on Ukraine will have left Russia weaker and the rest of the world stronger. When the history of this era is written, Putin's choice to make a totally unjustifiable war on Ukraine will have left Russia weaker and the rest of the world stronger. When the history of this era is written, Putin's choice to make a totally unjustifiable war on Ukraine will have left Russia weaker and the rest of the world stronger. When the history of this era is written, Putin's choice to make a totally unjustifiable war on Ukraine will have left Russia weaker and the rest of the world stronger. Liberty, democracy, human dignity, these are the forces far more powerful than fear and oppression. Liberty, democracy, human dignity, these are the forces far more powerful than fear and oppression. Liberty, democracy, human dignity, these are the forces far more powerful than fear and oppression. Liberty, democracy, human dignity, these are the forces far more powerful than fear and oppression. 
liberty, democracy, human dignity, these are the forces far more powerful than fear and oppression. They cannot be extinguished by tyrants like Putin and his armies. They cannot be extinguished by tyrants like Putin and his armies. They cannot be extinguished by tyrants like Putin and his armies. They cannot be extinguished by tyrants like Putin and his armies. They cannot be extinguished by tyrants like Putin and his armies. They cannot be erased from people's hearts and hopes by any amount of violence and intimidation. They endure. They cannot be erased from people's hearts and hopes by any amount of violence and intimidation. They endure. They cannot be erased from people's hearts and hopes by any amount of violence and intimidation. They endure. They cannot be erased from people's hearts and hopes by any amount of violence and intimidation. They endure. They cannot be erased from people's hearts and hopes by any amount of violence and intimidation. They endure. God bless the people of a free and democratic Ukraine. May God protect our troops. God bless the people of a free and democratic Ukraine. May God protect our troops. God bless the people of a free and democratic Ukraine. May God protect our troops. God bless the people of a free and democratic Ukraine. May God protect our troops. God bless the people of a free and democratic Ukraine. May God protect our troops.